Here are four tips to differentiate sinus tachycardia from SVT. 1. Presenting complaint. Consider the patient's context. For instance, a firefighter after a fire is likely experiencing sinus tach, whereas sudden onset without an obvious cause may indicate SVT. For example, a woman experiences a sudden racing heart while reading to her grandchild, suggesting SVT due to the abrupt onset without an apparent trigger. 2. Look for the beginning and end of tachycardia. Sinus tach typically has a gradual onset and offset, while SVT often begins and ends suddenly due to the re-entry mechanism. Sinus tach may gradually increase and decrease over time, while SVT, such as paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia, PSVT, has sudden onset and termination. You can tell it is PSVT if the termination of the tachycardia is abrupt. 3. Look for rate variability. SVT starts suddenly and then stays at about the same rate until it ends. Sinus rhythms display rate changes over time. Sinus tach may fluctuate in response to physiological changes, while SVT maintains a steady rate throughout its duration. 4. Look for P waves. Sinus tach and most SVTs have one P wave per QRS complex. Atrial fibrillation lacks P waves and atrial flutter may present with 2 to 1 conduction. Always monitor the ECG for changes and consider the patient's overall condition before deciding on treatment.